It's about to get out of control. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano. No Frank tonight. He's taking a break. Got my Titanic mug here. Drinking some Pike Place. Starbucks needed something strong to get through tonight. Been holding this video off. Wanted to get through the holiday before we talked about some of this stuff going on. Uh, as we've talked over the last month, we've been talking about prices that are going to be going up here right after the 4th of July. And here we are a day later. I uh, went to Walmart today. Um, and I got to say, I was <laughs> a lot of stuff has gone up in price. I, I did a, a vlog, did a shopping vlog at Walmart. Um, if you're interested, it'll be out tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I, <laughs> I, you know, n none of this stuff surprises me anymore, but I'm just, I, normally I would say I'm surprised to see some of this happen at Walmart first, but, you know, I'm not really, because we keep seeing these things, especially grocery items, go up in price at Walmart, and we're seeing things stay right underneath what they are at some of the more high dollar stores, but they're getting up there right next to what they're costing us in places like Kroger. Dare I even say Publix. Guys, some of this stuff is going to get out of control. I usually use Walmart and some other places as like a, a, a measuring stick of what's to come. Sometimes, you know, and I've said this before, we'll see deals at Kroger We'll even see better deals at Aldi when they're on sale, like the Aldi saver deals and stuff like that. We'll see sales at stuff on Meyer, far and few between these days. But but Walmart, unless it's a rollback offer, they're far and few between. Now, to be fair, I did find a good amount of rollback offers today at Walmart. But as we kind of go through and we check things, you know, we found a couple things that have gone down in price. But, you know, these places are coming out saying they're dropping prices. Okay, now Aldi... Aldi has done a good job. Um, it, it's it, it's crazy to say Target has done a better job than some of these places around here as far as dropping prices. Now, Target came out uh, a little over a month ago and said they were dropping 5,000 uh, products in price. And I'll tell you what, you know, we cover a lot of different groceries on the channel. And if you shop for groceries at Target then you have noticed some of the price decreases that we've been seeing. Now, the Good & Gather, which is a pretty good product, if you ask me, it's it's pretty good quality for a decent price, already a decent price, and we've seen a lot of those that have been dropping in price. Now, you know, it's just crazy to say, and one could say, well, Target's doing that because they're not selling anything, you know, so they have to drop their prices. That very well could be, but either way, I've been seeing a lot more people in Target's parking lot lately, you know, and, and then right across the street, we have arguably the most popular Kroger here uh, in our side of town. And when you see more people at Target, now people shop at Target for many different things, but I've been noticing them very crowded. Now, one thing I did notice at Walmart today is, yes, they were pretty crowded, but it just didn't have that you know, it didn't have that feel like, like a lot of people, when I go shopping at Walmart, I'll see full carts, full carts. It was like people were on a mission. People were on a mission to get the items that they already knew was going to be a better deal. And, and that's the thing. You can go shopping at Walmart and you can ultimately save on things that you know you're going to be able to save on. Guys, the point of this is that prices are about to get out of control. I saw some things today at Walmart, which I'm not going to mention. Right, we'll save that for the Walmart video. Um, but I was floored. I was like, this is ridiculous. It's like they're not paying attention to any of the prices in some of the other stores. They're thinking people are just going to come in there because they've shopped at Walmart all this time for all these years. And that, oh, well, they'll just spend the extra quarter or 50 cents or a dollar or two dollars. Guys, I, you know, <laughs> even if you don't shop at Walmart, I do encourage you to check out our video tomorrow morning. It is a real eye-opener. Now, I I knew, I was like, you know, I had planned on going to Walmart on July 5th. 
for like the last month. When we knew prices were dropping, when we knew the sales leading up past Memorial Day to the 4th of July, we're going to be pretty good in some places over the last couple weeks. I had a feeling Kroger has been stepping up to the plate as far as sales go. And my same tone, my same approach still remains. Buy the sales as you see them because who knows what they're going to be like next week or even tomorrow. And it's it's becoming more and more noticeable at places like Walmart. It's like I can go in there and I can name 20, 30 products that have gone up in price since the last time I've been there. And that is almost every time. Now, some of them may be a nickel or a dime. Doesn't really matter too much. But, you know, if that happens frequently throughout the year, it does add up. When you can say, well, this was $1.50 less last year, that's big. And not just when you say that, but when you can say that on uh, over 100 products, that's real big. Real big. Okay, now, places like, and, and you, you know, I know a lot of you have probably wondered who shop at Meyer all the time, uh, which you know because you're paying for groceries there too. But that's kind of why I've fallen out of love with Meyer lately because it's like, even the sales, it's like, Meyer is getting pretty expensive. Now, if, if what was over the last couple weeks was Meyer's best, then we're in trouble with Meyer. I mean, I, I don't know. They, they need to just knock off that buy five, save five deal because the whole multiples of things, and then you're really not getting that great of a deal anyway. A lot of you guys pointed that out. And, you know, as to where a few of those, I said that from the beginning, but f for a few of those items that, that we buy, yeah, we're not really I could just wait until the next sale, right? Because if you're if you're doing if you're shopping the way that we do, we stock up on sales, right? Now we do that as is. Well, this bird just about hit the window here. That was funny. Uh anyway, that threw me off. Time for a sip of coffee. Hold on. Oh, it's good. Good. Got the strong stuff today. Starbucks. Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks in a while uh, as far as making my own, but when you can make your own Starbucks, it is really good and it's a little more affordable. So anyway, guys, um, a lot of the different things, you know, if we can hold that off, okay, if we can, if we buy the sales of the things that we use when we see them, then we can wait until those next round of sales. You buy those products. You move your other stuff in your pantry forward so that you're keeping up on the best of use by dates or expiration dates, and you put the other ones in the back. That, I mean, that's that's as simple as I can put it as we shop. Now, you know, I say these things because, you know, even if you can't do this all the time, it's it's a mindset to keep, to keep you know, the wheels turning, per se, of, of what's to come, because if you think it's unaffordable now, it's only going to get more and more unaffordable. And going to Walmart today, you know, it's like, I'm I'm one personally, I'm one personally that likes to be proven wrong. Okay? I love being proven wrong, especially when it's something that I am, that I don't want to happen. Okay? Like, I don't want prices to go up again. I don't want these things that we've been seeing for the last month, month and a half go away. We've been seeing some really good deals. Really good deals. And believe you me, you know, I knew, had some new viewers say, why don't we show what we buy? You know, there's too much, too much, you know, diversity and those kind of things. Too much anger. People get on there. Why are you buying a candy bar? You know, I guess that's just, that's why we don't show our stuff, you know. I like a Reese cup every now and then. I like some ice cream, you know. <laughs> it's just, it's, that's part of the reason. Um, but, you know, no, we've talked about these things a lot in the past. Things we do buy, things we make sure we stock up on when we find a good deal, right? Uh, things we need to pay attention to, guys. Eggs. Eggs are blowing up in price. I don't know what happened. I mean, I know what happened. We know that the whole bird flu and all that stuff. But I mean, you know, is this the reaction from months ago? Because we saw it go up and then we saw it come down and then boom, here we go again. Here we go again. And now it's way worse, way worse. And we've seen them go up a dollar, like a dollar fifty at Walmart. Guys, I just spoiled one at Walmart, but you know what? I just can't help myself. 
the way I look at it, the faster I get this information out to you, the better. Uh, eggs have shot nearly doubled at Walmart. Nearly doubled. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Kroger, they're cheaper at Kroger right now. Guys, I'm telling you, get ready. And I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm not trying to don't don't go out and go crazy and rush the stores and all that stuff. But you know, all all the people, you know, out here that that uh, you know that you want to wait, you hesitate. You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, if if you're, I, I get it. Some people just want to go to the store, get the stuff they need. They're not as worried about the price. But the more and more people that aren't worried about the prices, the more and more these places are just going to continue to take advantage of us. Right, the biggest re one of the biggest reasons why we do what we do now. We've always shopped like this. Always, we've always bought up the sales, uh, you know, as we go along. I've just started talking about it in this YouTube channel now. Figure, well, you know, maybe we can share some of our life and the way we do things, and maybe it'll help other people, you know. And what and that's that's another thing. What we buy is irrelevant. What you buy is what matters for you and your family. Right, going around checking out the different sales and stuff like that, pointing these out, things out, trying to make it a little entertaining. That's where Dano comes into play. But I'll tell you what, if if the, if Walmart is something, if Walmart is what's to come in some of these other stores, you better be ready. You better be ready because when Walmart's prices start going up like this, it's not going to be long. It's not going to be long until other stores' prices go up. And what we're going to see, okay, this is what will happen, is we're not going to see maybe any sale prices or sale prices that just aren't that good or or what the regular prices were today, right? I mean, we've seen it before. We saw, saw it last year and the year before. may not be as bad as what it was in 2021, okay, or, or the tail end of 2022 when we saw that huge spike in prices, but summer of 2023 last year, right about this time, we saw steady growth in prices. And then August, it like stopped. But that is where comments were going like crazy on the channel. And that is kind of what I'm basing myself, basing my information here is basically from you guys. We've learned on the channel just as much as anybody else. You guys are teaching us as much as I am trying to spread whatever knowledge that I have which isn't much, but you know what? We can, we can try and work together so that we can all save a little bit of money, at least in the grocery stores, you know? And I, you know, I gotta say it's, it's a crazy train wreck guys. It really is. It's just, it's like one thing after the other. Right. And it's like, I feel I, I knew, like I said before, I was going to Walmart today. I knew I was going like a month ago. I feel like I probably should have said something. Um, but at the same time, I don't really know what's going to happen. I didn't know Walmart was going to have a huge influx of price increases today. You guys are seeing this today. I'm putting this video out tonight. This is, you will be seeing this in an hour. If I can, if I can upload it, I had all kinds of trouble uploading my video for the 4th of July. I had this awesome thing I was playing. I played the Star Spangled Banner on my guitar and I was just wailing through it. It sounded great. Sounded great. I still have it. I got it recorded. It sounded awesome. It went with the fireworks. Guess what happened? About midnight last night. Now, I, I was talking in the video. I didn't mention it at all. But about midnight, the the video was, or about, no, it was about 1230. I, I got a message from YouTube that there was a copyright in my video. And I knew right away. I was like, it's got to be the Star Spangled Banner. And I started thinking to myself, like, wow, I must have played that pretty good for them to pretty much cover the whole song in a copyright. And at that, I'm thinking, how is this a copyrighted song? How is this not a song that everybody can just play? I, I don't know, but it was lost because of that. I couldn't put it in the video. I'm not going to put something, I'm not going to do the work to do a video that somebody else is going to get paid. YouTube's like, well, uh... You know, if you're fine, you you know, this is not a problem. You can leave your video on here, but uh, we're going to pay these people what you're making in your ads and all this other stuff. I'm like, okay, delete. And now they actually give you those options too. They're like, well, you can take the video down, re-upload it, cut trim and stuff down, which I could have trimmed the song down and it might have went through. I like how YouTube does that. They encourage you to do that. 
But no, I'm, I said, okay, cool, deleted the video. I was up till 2.30 in the morning redoing the video without the Star Spangled Banner in it. I hated that. I was like, wow, the one time that pops up is on the 4th of July when I'm trying to put together this awesome video of fireworks that the whole track was with some of the bigger ones. It was pouring down rain. It was kind of, it was like a icing on the cake, guys. It was, it was rain, rain, rain all night. We were able to get all the fireworks off at one point. Some of them, it was like, well, it's pouring down rain. I'm sitting there with an umbrella trying to light a fuse. That's probably not a good idea, but it was pouring down rain. Still, we got them all off. So that was nice, fun. Anyway, point of that was is the copyright thing. I'm, I'm considering taking music out of all of my videos, even the music that I play. You know, it's like, I, I own that music. I do. So if they were to say that that was a copyright, well, then I guess I would have to show them my uh, my little piece of paper saying, well, no, no, it's still pending because you can't really get a copyright. You can't really get anything copyright anymore. You can get a copyright pending, right? It's be pending for 20 years, right? Because everything has like a process that takes million years. But anyway... Anyway, guys, I'm just saying, be prepared. This is basically the simplest of the message. Be prepared. Know what's coming. Even if it's not coming, which knock on wood, it doesn't. But we're seeing it at Walmart right now. I actually mentioned in the video tomorrow, like, is this what Walmart meant when they said drop in prices? Like, I found a few items that dropped like three cents, right? And then, I mean, I guess that way they can come back and say, well, no, no, no. No, no, no. We dropped the price on those SpaghettiOs. We dropped the price on this spaghetti, so you can save three whole pennies. There's another spoiler. Anyway. Ugh, I don't know. Uh, I was like, I just wanted to leave. It's like, you know, I love Walmart. You guys know me and Jessica love Walmart. We love a lot of great value products. Those are going up in price, too. They are. We said they would. It's, it's looked like they just said, well, whatever. We're just going to go ahead and raise them before the 4th of July. That way, you know, that way... I don't know, somebody calls off or we have employee shortages. Another thing, too, that place was really packed, right? And they have all these self-checkout things, and two, two of them were open. To be fair, they had a lot of employees work in the, uh, the registers, but those were overcrowded, too. But I was like, man, what a waste of money. You guys just put all these self-checkouts in here, you know, and uh, they're not being in use. They're not being in use. I don't know. Some people have actually said they've been tearing the self-checkouts out of their Walmart. They do have that big lane now. They got that big, beautiful lane, nice and clean, six six registers if you are a uh, one of the carrier drivers. I, I forget the name of them. Not Uber, but I don't know, one of them. Or if you have the... If you have the scan and go, which I I don't even I didn't even know our Walmart had done that yet, so that must have been something where you can scan and go because it, it they they had t the system wasn't working, okay, system wasn't working. But either way, it's like if you scan and go, why do I even need to go to this register? Like just to say, hey, I'm scan and go, I'm cut through here. I can't think of the name there. It begins with an S. I don't know. Some kind of driver that drives, does shopping through people. I don't know. I don't know, but it's like a special lane. Then they have a special employee literally standing there doing absolutely nothing. Doing nothing. Just standing there waiting on some, uh, one of those drivers that does shopping for people or a scan and go. It literally says on the register, I'm, I, you know, I don't really know how it works at Walmart. I know how it works at Sam's Club. Like, Sam's Club, you scan your stuff, and then you go out the door, or they check your things, you know, and you're gone. Maybe, oh, maybe that's what she does. Okay, so, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe if you scan and go, you go through there, she checks your receipt. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very disappointed at Walmart today with all the different prices that I saw go up. Um, am I surprised? Absolutely not. Not at all. It's just another day, another day in the life of prices going up on everything. It's not just food, guys. It's not just food. I, You know, it's hard to pay attention to everything. Anything that you guys have seen that have gone up in price doesn't have to be dramatically just anything. What are we seeing right now that's going up? Is it socks? Is it t-shirts? Is it, uh, we know cars are. We know cars are coming. We know houses are, 
right? So no need to mention those, but you can, feel free. Um, but anything, anything outside of food or food, any of your stores across the country, what have you noticed that has really caught your eye? Because I think most people, for most people, unless you watch this channel, because I, I like preach it in everybody's brains to watch everything, right? I mean, you know, it's just, it's a good way to be. I, I can't, it's like my peripheral vision catches this stuff, guys. I There was one thing I couldn't believe today. Oh, I mean, it just, it, it's shocking. It really is. It's very shocking. Let me know in tomorrow's video when when if, when you get to I know a lot of you guys are going to watch tomorrow's video. When you get to it, let me know the part that you in the video to what I'm talking about right now. I'm not going to give it away, okay? But let, comment down below when you see that part in the video that just mentioned that, oh, this was it. Or say, oh, I see it, Dano, or something. Just reply to that. I'll know what you're talking about. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and, and you can spoil it in the comments in that video, right? So, I mean, it's... it's I, I, I was floored. I was absolutely floored. I thought it was a mistake. And the eggs. The eggs. I You know, we're getting back up there. It, 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 if it can go up that high, almost double in a week... We'll be back up to that $4.72 for 12 eggs. Remember that? Last year, about this time, $4.72 for 12 eggs at Walmart. Now, it's not that high yet, okay? But in a week, it's nearly doubled. I had to go back. I had to check another sticker. I was like, is this, and this isn't the thing that I'm talking about. This isn't what I'm talking about. This is some, That was something else. But, uh, you know, and there's there's been people on the channel who've been commenting that, that uh, you know, we ain't seen nothing yet. This is just the beginning. This is, you know, buy it now because it's going to be double. And, and I, I think to myself, there's no way. I always think to myself, there's no way that, the, that this has to stop at some point. People just aren't going to be able to, to shop. They're going to quit buying this stuff. And maybe that's what it's going to take. Maybe that's what it's going to take. And, you know, especially, and, you know, I've also said, you know, when you're buying up the sales, people have said, well, that's what they want you to buy. That's what they want you to buy. C cool. Let the other stuff sit on the shelf. Okay. Uh, I'm not paying uh, some of these different prices on produce. I will go somewhere else. Right. I can find a better deal at Aldi. I might have to search through a couple bags to make sure I get a good one. Right. But, I mean... It's coming, guys. It's coming. And again, not doing this to scare you. I know I'm a little little um, irritated by it, but I mean, it's kind of fresh in my brain. Uh, usually, I got a late start today because, like I said, I was trying to get that video out at 2.30 in the morning. Um, but just keep your head on a swivel, guys. Make sure you're paying attention to all the little things. Don't just look at some of the big things. You will see some big things that happen in the video tomorrow, but... Also look at the little ones because the little one can live the little silent ones, the little 10, 20 cent price increases are ones that, um, that take effect more, I think, because we'll see things go up and egg prices will come down eventually. And then when it's higher than what it was the last time, right? Because we saw them at a dollar 52, a dollar 52 at Walmart just a couple weeks ago. It's nearly doubled. Okay. And the, uh, you know, when we see these things come back, okay, then we'll see it come back. Because remember what eggs were like a year and a half ago? When we saw, well, okay, when we saw the, the first egg crisis, they got down cheaper than that. Now we see, we saw $1.52 and we're like, cool, that's better than two thirty six or whatever they were, right? Well, next time they'll come back and they'll be $1.98, right? Or some of these other things that have gone up in price, like an exuberant amount. Okay, some of these things like like that have gone up a couple dollars. And it's like, wow, I'm just going to leave it sit there. They know you looked at it. They know you looked at it. And then the next time, okay, oh, well, that dropped in price. That dropped 50 cents. Buy it. And it's still a dollar fifty higher than it's ever been. They don't mind letting things sit on the shelf. Just to show the mind, to show the eyes that, wow, this is what it could be. 
and then all of a sudden we'll drop the price and then we're still going to make a dollar 50 more i that is genius i need to be in uh the problem with me is i couldn't do a job like that because i'm for one i'm too honest and i'm not going to do something that's going to that's going to hurt people i'm not that greedy that's greed and that needs to uh, yeah I'm just Watch the video tomorrow. You'll know what I'm talking about. There are several items like this too. Now, to be fair, I found some pretty okay deals at Walmart as well. There are some good ones. You know, I mean, but there, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes things come down so that you can talk about them and say, wow, I found cheese for $1.97 at Walmart when it's been $2.22 for sliced cheese for the last two years and hasn't gone up in price. And now it's $1.97. They had a rollback offer to catch the eye, right? And think that, okay, well, I got to buy this now because it's a rollback offer. Now what happened? Like a month later. Now that's the regular price. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, $1.97 for some cheese. Let's keep shopping. Let's keep shopping. And you see the eggs. Now, eggs, eggs is part of something else, so we can't really, but there are many other things that we go over tomorrow that are shocking, okay? So, I don't know, I don't know, I feel like this entire video is just hyping up the video for tomorrow, but I, I, I don't want you to look at it like that, I want you to look at it like this is, this is information that I feel is going to be relevant here in the next couple few weeks. I think a lot of things are going to be going up. I don't think this is Walmart just slapping prices on things. I think maybe some manufacturers might be toying with some things. Walmart is a no-nonsense company. If they are not getting it in, if they're not getting the products, or if they're not selling them for the price, Aldi is the same way. Aldi is kind of forced in that position, though. Aldi kind of forces themselves in that position to where if they just don't get it, you'll notice things disappear, disappear at Aldi. And not come back for the longest time. And then when they do, you'll notice they're the same price. Maybe even a penny lower. That's why. Because whatever company or manufacturer was dealing with them is now has caved on the price. They probably haven't sold the product at other stores. I'm like, okay, Aldi, we'll give you that deal. Walmart is similar, but on a bigger scale, on a much grander scale. And, and I saw some things today at Walmart that are gone. That are gone. And it's funny because a couple people have mentioned that too. Um, and I, yeah, I just, I can't, Walmart is like, you know what? Forget it. We'll take it on ourselves. I can't blame a lot of the things that have gone up in price on groceries at Walmart because we see some of the same things. Okay, so I, I'm not just pointing the finger at Walmart here. I'm pointing the finger at manufacturers, deals not being made, and things that may disappear from Walmart because of it. Guys, uh, make sure you check it out tomorrow. It is it's a real eye opener. I was I was as I was I was literally sticker shocked. I mean I <laughs> couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Some good things and some very bad things at Walmart. But I believe this is like I said a measuring stick of what's coming. Well guys, thank you so much for watching the video tonight. If you would like to fall further down the Dano rabbit hole, check this video out as it is very relevant to everything going on right now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.